What's up, YouTube? This is another episode of ASAP Pet Info. Coming at you here with a special little update. This isn't going to be like a full pet room update or anything. Uh, you know, like five minutes probably. I don't know. We'll just see where this goes to. Uh, but this is uh, showing off some bitchers, baby. Uh, I got a new one. Uh, I also got rid of a bunch of fish, and we'll get into that after I show you the bitchers. So, here, there's my old one. This is my Senegal. Uh, let's see if I can get him to swim out here. Uh, come here, buddy. So that's the Senegal. That's my old one. Uh, this is my old bitcher. Uh, but I got a new one, not a new Senegal, but a new species in general. Now, excuse me, I'm going to turn you on your side here. But if you can see that, that is what is called a Dalhizi Bitcher, uh, also known as uh, Armored Bitcher. Uh, I'm not sure why they're called Armor Bitchers. They look like they have just as much armor as all the rest. Maybe it's just the patterns that make them look all armory. But um, here, I'll see if I can get a better shot of him. Let me grab my little stool here. And I'll try and get you a look at him. Just move this log over a bit. There we go. See, he's not very shy. So you can kind of just do whatever in the tank and he won't freak out or anything. Uh, but that's him. Uh, he doesn't have a name yet. If you have any suggestions, feel free to drop that down into the comments. Uh, I literally like just brought him home a few hours ago. So he hasn't, you know, he hasn't eaten or tried to eat. I haven't even tried to feed him anyways. Uh, anyway, it looks like he's starting to come towards the camera. I'm hoping uh, he will get just as tame as the Senegal. The Senegal is like a little puppy dog. It'll usually, like, come and follow your finger. Um, both the Senegal and the Dalhizi are upper jaw bitchers, I believe. Uh... But yeah, you can see he's getting closer here. He has beautiful patterns. Uh, I do have a plan for him, and I also have a plan for the Senegal, so don't freak out or anything. Like, oh, that gets too big. Where are you going to keep that? Blah, blah, blah. I, I got this. Let's just put it that way. I got this. Um, here, let's see if I can get him to come over here. Maybe I can wiggle my finger a bit here. Oh yeah, he's coming over. Uh, bitchers are very, very curious fish. Uh, they have specially adapted, like, they have, they, for the most part, they pretty much have lungs. So they'll actually rise to the surface and breathe. Uh, they can also walk on land for short periods of time. In fact, there was a test done. Uh, they raised... Uh, Senegal bitchers out of water somehow like they put it in a really humid tank and raised them out of water uh, and then raised one in water and then tested their walking skills and uh, to see if uh, they could adapt to being on land and they did they uh, were a lot more efficient with their walking the ones that were raised on land uh, I thought that test was pretty cool. I'll show you the Senegal one more time. The uh, Dalhizi is a bit... Uh, Dalhizi is just a bit smaller than the Senegal. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like these fish. They're all really cool. Uh, so now let's get on to the fish that I got rid of. Excuse, I'm just moving the uh, stool behind me. Uh, now the fish I got rid of, I got rid of two fish in this tank and two fish in this tank. Uh, I got rid of five fish in all. Uh, for one, I got rid of the go uh, that friggin' goldfish that was outside. Uh, quote unquote, Bubbo, as my brother named it. Uh, I got rid of him. He's finally out of the way. I don't have to worry about him anymore. Butterfly fish is still in here. I'm gonna try to like never get rid of this guy if I can help it. 
Uh, the fish in here that I got rid of it was the uh, flying fox algae eater and the sun catfish. Uh, both of those are gone. And then the fish that were in here that I got rid of are the Florida brown bullhead catfish and the uh, convict hybrid thing. So uh, I got like, I don't know, he originally would have been 30 bucks. Uh, he was 20% off at the store, and plus I got uh, like 8 or 9 bucks from all the fish that I gave them, so I paid 18 bucks for him in all. But he's a super cool fish, trying to, I'd like it if it would focus on him here. I guess not. But, uh, yeah, that's all the fish I got rid of. Uh, I plan on getting rid of all those fish in the future anyways. Uh, I would have liked to keep all of them longer, but I figured I'd get rid of them before I got too attached to them or anything. You know, videotape right here because the wood catfish are coming out. There's one. Uh, I didn't want to get too, uh, too attached to them or anything, so I just figured I'd get rid of them now before, uh, I got too attached, so I got rid of them, so that's cool, uh, so I'm slowly working my way up to, uh, getting my fish room to where it, it needs to be and where I want it, uh, eventually, I'm thinking, uh, removing all the 30 inch tanks off of here and putting a 125 and a 2.5 gallon up here, or maybe a 10 gallon turn on its side, uh, so that'll be cool. Really all I have to do is level out these little things right here so the tank can set on top of those. Uh, and I don't know what I'd be putting in there. It's either going to be a planet tank or maybe I'll put the bitchers in like an Oscar in it. I don't know. I'm not going to try and talk about it or anything because I haven't bothered to plan, uh, plan this out at all. And I'm not going to bother to plan this out at all until I have everything moved out or moved around, I guess. Right now, I just need to get the convicts into the 40 breeder, these guys into a 40 breeder, these guys and the two bitchers that are in here into uh, the 75, uh, Poseidon into a 180, uh, the turtles moved outside, you know, I have a lot I need to fix up, move around, get upgraded, blah blah blah, I'm trying to maximize my gallonage. But anyways, yeah, this video has run longer than I intended it to, so I hope you stay till the end. Uh, for a good, like, clear, better shot of the bitcher, go, uh, watch to the end of the video. Uh, he's being active. Watch to the end of the video, and there'll be a good picture I got of him while he was in the bag. Uh, I think I might actually have a picture of him out of the bag, I don't know. We'll just see, uh... But yeah, just watch the end for some better looks at him because the camera, the video camera does not do much, really. It's really sucky, but the picture camera's alright. So, we'll see. Comment, rate, subscribe, respect the hobby, respect the hobbyists, and most importantly, respect the fish. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned to ASAP Pet Info for some cool stuff, new fish, moving around, new tanks, blah, 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 and peace out.